we are at the Western World Tunnels. You can see part of it, you can see part of the arches here. And let me show you where we are now. We are building now Jerusalem. You can see um, the uh, topographically thing of Jerusalem and then the wall that King Herod broke. But. This is Jerusalem at the second temple time. You can see the bridge that we are now right here. We are going to visit their building and that reservoir. Look how it looks like it. It's remember it because we're going to see that area as well. You can see the bridge right here. And if we go out, that is part of it from there. Over there. The western wall, the main department is right there. And you can see here the city of, uh, oh, now it's the temple from second time, and second temple time from the time of King Herod. The bridge is actually an aqueduct to brought the water into the uh, Temple Mount, he has a lot of water. And this is the Western Mount Plaza, right here. This is my family of today. It's beautiful. And we are going to visit that area. You can see that it was burned down in the 1st century AD, 7th century, you can see the bridge, the remains of the bridge and the building that we are going to visit. It was it's been destroyed by the Romans. Behind it, you can see the Mount of Olives. You can see the Temple Mount from the time of the Muslims now. The Aqsa Mosque is here. The temple at the um, site of the Jewish temple is here, and the bridge area is right here, and we are beneath that. And you can see the western wall. Uh, until 1967, we had only formed this wide plaza, and now we have much bigger. Area. This is the plaza that we just came. We enter through there, and we are visiting the bridge, but beneath us. Of course, in the time of uh, King Herod, everything was underground, uh, above the ground. Because the city has been destroyed so many times, we're actually doing it part by part today, city by city by city, and let's continue. Yeah. Now we are going beneath the bridge. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. Mm, the smell is not the best smell. Okay. What's the name of this bridge? Okay, I thought the name today when I was talking about Okay, so the Great Bridge, there's. The that was a valley. Part of the city. Uh, see, yeah. Is that way? Lower Might part of the bridge. The lower part of the bridge was uh, above us. The, uh, no. In that case, we will enter to. Uh, we will continue, but on the way, you can see the fake columns from the time of King Herod. It's actually bolded, but it's not real columns. And there are so many, like 130 uh, mikvehs. Jewish ritual bath all around it. The Jews are purifying their body uh, every, I mean, the man is doing it every week before Shabbat will enter, and the woman is doing it at least once a month. You can see the fall. Uh, and this is the fountain reservoir that we saw outside. The First of all, here there are no statues or figural representations. It's all, and off six columns are working. It's a fountain that, in theory, it could work. If we can seal here, they're working on doing something here, making an inner seal, maybe. We still have the pipes that are behind the walls here. In theory, it could work. And we even have a drainage channel. And this was only discovered when we closed during the pandemic. Uh, the archaeologists decided to, they decided to it can work. If you want it, it can work. And I'm sure that one day they will do that. And as mentioned, the reservoir is here too.
send their water. That right. means that um, we had uh, a lot of water here from the aqueduct right. so, so this is also outside Jerusalem. Uh, but luckily, they, they figured uh, out that there was, there was uh, several uh, drains uh, in the city going back 2,000 years. And this is one of the major, one of the major ones. There are others. Uh, there's one that runs along the Western Wall, which you can actually walk in. This one, you, nobody... Now, you can see here that there's kind of a reservoir yeah. here. Oh, there's one there and we believe that there was a pool here as well and above us is the bridge it looks like that you can see the fountain and the fake columns that started there and maybe the bridge is above us then in that case that's the bridge you can see the aqueduct water some of the water entered here and that was for fun as I believe. But the drainage is just beneath us for the extra water. Sadly, I've never been there. But you can see how it looks like. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the water went out from there. That where we believe was the tank the water water tank of course uh, and, and the door is actually yeah. at that time there was no doors and because of the plaster here they believe that it was a kind of a pool here then i'm swimming now in it this is the pool sorry this is okay then the room itself is from the first century and the column, as we believe, it's from the Muslim time, 7th century. The gate here, the double gate, looks like one of the entrances to the temple. It's not the entrance to the temple, but it looks like it. And now we're going to see something beautiful. Okay. You can see a lot of mikvehs here, right here, because it's very close to the temple. Remember, the Jews must purify their... Uh, body. My time, the door that we are now entering was closed. Um, for me, that part is a new part. Yay! Yay! That's how Mikva looks like, and this is beautiful because it's functioning, it's working. And this is one of the Mikvehs. The water source is from there now, but it wasn't at the time of uh, King Herod. The water level was not higher than that, and the water came from the aqueduct above the bridge, and you can see, see it right, I mean, the entrance to it, and there was a drainage system here, which is not usually, you won't find it a lot in, uh, um, in you won't see it in uh, Mikves. More mikvehs are here. In that mikveh, you can see something special because um, it started from there. You can see that canal takes the, brings the water to here. It's beautiful, isn't it? And now, you're going to be surprised. There's a lot, a lot of notes here. This is not part of it. What you can see there is the western wall, which we couldn't see it for hundreds of years. You, I, I can bring you more notes. If that is the problem, I can bring you more notes. Yeah. Just as it would be if you were standing at that level. That's the level of the prayer class up above. But directly above us is a big arch. It's actually inside. And we are beneath the big arch. And uh, look how beautiful it is. There are notes here because it's the Western Wall. People are asking uh, 
wishes, but we already did it in the plaza itself. Further north. Right. So we're lower, and also the wall goes more. It goes lower here. It, like the further you go this way, the way I'm walking, it gets lower. And there's more. To see. And I think the approximate height from the base of your top is and Look at that. Roughly 150. It's not, and it's not the deepest part. So here, also, when you're outside, I don't know how, you, know, you don't notice everything. I mean, it's a little <laughs> so, so, above it, the whole intermediate section is a reconstruction. Probably, probably, they don't know for sure, but probably in the early Islamic period. And you can so, see, you know, see in the the smaller, look how the it is. This is the bedroom. It looks like the size of the original wall yeah, of uh, so King Herod. At the western wall, Plaza. Only yeah, seven yeah. stones is from the time of King Herod, the rest is from different times. Now, here you can see a small theater that we found by mistake. It might be old theater, all the government square, I mean, the, the parliament, the second century. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe, maybe Sanhedrin, which is the Jewish parliament. The seats were all and rich that area, that's why there are holes. I don't know if you can see the holes there. Right there. Okay, so the wood, they were digging. And it's, uh, we are above, uh, I mean, we are beneath the arch. You can see the, the Bama, the um, arena. Here, they got to this point, they got to the three stones right here. Look what happened. They began to slip. You can see the new synagogue, which is beautiful. Even though the plants were beginning to be drawn up when we discovered the theater-like structure downstairs. <laughs> it actually looks like the theater that we saw. That's the main section. The women's section is there. The way women can see it is the men Look up here. Right, but there is, but there is an egalitarian set. We do. We have an egalitarian set. On the other side, on the other side. See them. Yeah, and the big stone is right there. Look how big it is. Stone. This is not part of the tour, but the tour guide loves us. He's not happy because it's not part of the tour. Oh. But but we are happy. Very happy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Now, if you love this video, I'm sure that you loved it. Um, then sub subscribe to my channel, be part of my family. You know that I have more than almost fifteen thousand videos. Another five thousand being hacked, but I still have a lot. Then feel free to ask me questions. Thank you very much for being with me.